Sana. Magandang hapon. Thank you, Miss Vani. Saka thank you everyone for sitting in uh, this session. Uh, I know there are very interesting sessions out there. I cannot match the earlier speakers. Hope I can. No? Uh, anyhow, for those who wanted to get the material, no, I will post it in Google Classroom. So, hold on, hold on. Ayan, para hindi niyo ako makita. <laughs> so, nakita niyo doon sa Google Classroom. Uh, yan yung Google Classroom. Just access Google Classroom, enter the class code, tapos I will post in the feed the material. No? So, all of the material that you will see here uh, can be downloaded in that Google Classroom code. Sorry, um, sa university kasi sa Baguio, yan yung ginagamit namin. Eh, na L parang LMS. Yan. Sorry if I speak Tagalog. Is it okay, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in Ilocano, Ilocano, ha? Ilocano. Ayan. <laughs> Kasi sa amin sa Ilocano, maawatan. <laughs> uh, pasensya na kayo kasi I just came from Baguio, no? kaya medyo uh, modulated yung boses ko. But uh, let's go to the gist. No? I will not uh, introduce myself. It was already introduced by Miss Vani. Uh, again, this is, uh, I co-authored a lot of the modules here with a lot of data scientists, sysad, cybersecurity analysts, and so on and so forth. No? Tapos, I, 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 we wrote a paper. Uh, we tried it for how many years? Some of them we have implemented in some of our banks, some of our telco. Hindi ko nasasabihin. Isa sa BGC, isa sa Makati. So, <laughs> so anyhow, uh, an addition to the content, no? Uh, career path to cybersecurity. Sana mabigyan ko kayo. Those who are vying to uh, uh, to get a cybersecurity job, no? to land one, no? So anyhow, um, I apologize again. Na isalin ko kasi yung salitang cybersecurity sa Tagalog. So cybersecure, na ba? <laughs> so hiram lang salita. So just a cyber, uh, just um, just a bit introductory of what is cybersecurity. What is the three pillars of cybersecurity? People, process, and technology. IT, <laughs> But again, the imp uh, importance of having uh, good cybersecurity. Siempre we go along our lives. We have peace of mind. Tapos hindi tayo nagambala, no? Hindi tayo naabala. That's it, no? We continue our jobs without get getting without getting even worried about our lives, our data, our social identity, and so on and so forth. Now, And do I need to learn uh, and be aware of cybersecurity? Hindi lang ba pang tech persons to? Sabi nga nila, uh, isn't this just a tech person problem? But sabi nga nila, cybersecurity is your and everyone's responsibility. No. So, kung gusto yung secure ka, if you wanted to be secure, stay off the grid, no? Don't use the internet. That's it, right? <laughs> so, sabi nga natin, in terms of data protection and cyber security, even nung lockdown, no? We are all in this together, as they said, right? So, anyhow, um, as I mentioned, no? Everyone who uses technology needs to keep their computer or their devices and data secure, no? Tinitignan ko lang yung timer. Digital timer na para hindi ka na mahirapan. <laughs> so, uh, ako as, as being part of the security operation of, I will not name the banks, uh, one here very near, walking distance, uh, and one in front of uh, very near ng Net Lima sa BGC, no? And the two telcos, no? So, sabi natin, cyber security doesn't sleep, no? 24 by 7 sila. Their objective to steal the ano, gold mine, which is our data. No? So anyhow, so us as cybersecurity professionals, no, our security controls fail. No? Even though with the best technology out there, with the best configuration and best practices, kahit na may gate, even though we have a gate, everyone, people finds a loophole, a gap. No? So any system there can be breached. Kaya if you remember my question to Swa, so I think kanina, if I use quantum plus AI, can I hack a system, right? So anyhow, so again the challenges. No, every day, no. How would I help you? No, 
how would I know uh, Sir Kyle's uh, problem in terms of protecting his data? So every day, you are generating how many petabytes of data, no? And as a uh, security operations analyst, we have the challenge of looking into a lot of monitors, a lot of logs, a lot of dashboards out there, but what, how can I uh, even deduce and say this is the problem? So I, yung parang contact tracing, this area has been infected and, and so on and so forth. No? So again, uh, this is my experience even on lockdown. No? I never had a work from home job. I had to go to each of the banks, the telco and the uh, financial wallets uh, company uh, just to help in the scamming problems. <laughs> a lot of compromised accounts and so on and so forth. No? And a uh, challenge for that, no? uh, we have to have good tools. No? To, to help us deduce and look for the problem. No, problem pa lang. Very, and you have to respond. Remember, the SLA of a hacker using quantum and AI is how many seconds? <laughs> uh, so by the time that I'm able to say that this is the problem, he's the attacker and so on and so forth, the hacker already have cleaned their footprints. So again, there's a timely manner, no? So again, I'm just checking time. Hirap kasi kung time limited. Eh. So anyhow, uh, these are some of the questions that we ask. No, ikaw ba yon? Are you the one doing this one? No, do you have the right access? Seems that you're not acting as the same person, right? So may parang deviation dun sa behavior nyo. May kakaiba sa behavior. There's a de deviation. And are you using a legitimate device? Is it cloned? Is your SIM cloned? Is your attack impersonated? No. Or is your attack? Uh, is your account compromised? No. So anyhow. So ngayon. Um, so this uh, just to explain uh, the initial foundation of. Uh, doing cybersecurity, no. So we use a, fi a lot of Python automation scripts, Python data processing, no. So mapapagalitan na ako ni Sir Kyle kasi this is a big. Uh, mamaya yung ex uh, proposal namin sa big uh, file of third, no. So again, we know this is the high-level architecture uh, of what we're doing every day, no. You have your systems at the back end. You have your and si Juan de la Cruz. And you use your own devices. We call it channel because you have your mobile, iPad, and so on and so forth. No? And that particular technology is, has its own operating system, has its own application that is communi communicating towards an internet service. No? So very basic. Lang yan, no? So now, uh, we wanted first, dito in this talk, no, we will focus on the service that is already deployed in the cloud. No? Again, we'll have another avenue to discuss how to pro how to have the security on the devices, on the application. No? So use cases. High level lang to, we have two use cases. No? How would I use Python to process all of the activities, the alerts, and even look into the dark web and say that there is a problem in your system? And to find that uh, that intruder, the virus, the malware, and so on and so forth. No. And lastly, how would us or how would FiSecure uh, respond to this particular threat? No. And remedy it, eradicate that particular malware, for example. So again, one big uh, pile of dirt. No. I only got uh, 21 minutes left. <laughs> So file secure is a platform, no? Uh, so I will not expound on how we deploy it. Is it uh, hardware? Is it on the cloud? But uh, think about it, it's a platform where we're running a lot of our Python uh, jobs, no? So the reason why we have done this platform, you've seen there's a lot of cybersecurity platform and tools. Bakit uh, there's no Philippine branded Cybersecurity tool, no? You see Semantec, you see McAfee, you see CrowdStrike, and so on and so forth, no? Why don't we see our uh, own homegrown, developed, Philippine, Filipino uh, cybersecurity platform, no? 
So again, this this particular platform is catered to the security operations analyst. Uh, those who are protecting your system and checking if there is a breach on that particular system. No? So what we do in the first step, we collect information. We store it somewhere else, a data lake, a database. We perform analysis. Again, we can use different uh, algorithms, corpuses, and all of your, let's say, uh, machine learning corpuses, as I mentioned already. And of course, our proactive response. No? After doing the detection, after deducing that there's a problem, and how will we help the system? So what we do is we send the data, we process the data, all of those steps. Can you see, sir? Can you see? And afterwards, uh, once, uh, once there is a breach in the system, we'll be able to, let's say, eradicate the, uh, detect where is the threat, and of course, uh, restrict those hackers from that system. Very simple lang, di ba? So that's what any cybersecurity platform do at the start, no? So this is the somewhat the foundation that what we're doing, no? Um, okay, time check. So for the first part, no? Um, of course, how will we transmit data, no? So what we have done, no? We kind of mimic the function of syslog, no? So syslog is getting information uh, from the host system. No, it's dumping the activities in the operating system. Of course, there are uh, we we wrote a script running in a scheduler or a cron job that that transmit data uh, towards our platform. Of course, you can use other means. No, so Linux you can use RC slug or the Windows uh, instrumentation. No, yep, WMI. Yeah. So. Uh, just a code snippet, no? Um, of course, I'm um, sorry, no? Some of my code is already old school, version 2, because I started using Python 2008, not as uh, long as uh, Master uh, Mike Kennedy, no? So I have very old imports. <laughs> uh, you will see some of my, sabi nga ni Sir Kyle yung dry code, no? Um, Sana if I can zoom it on, no? pero we don't have time anymore. I will not explain code by code, but just to give you that, uh, we have, uh, there are means and ways to use very simple uh, import libraries to create and send syslog to the platform. No? Okay. So ngayon, we drill down to the collect. No? 70 minutes. So, kita ko, digital. <laughs> um, so we have a streaming scripts, a streaming uh, daemon. No? So uh, I just reuse my code in that telco, in that two telco that gets call data, uh, browsing data coming from the cell sites, no? from the intelligent networks. No? We're getting all of those data. I just reuse the script to just receive syslogs no? coming from uh, the platform. No? Next, Jan, of course, there's what we call the duplication. Just somewhat a cleansing of data. Normalization, somewhat readable. We're just extracting the more important and salient information. Tapos you kind of score already that particular record. May problema ba to or wala? So if it's somewhat, there's already a, a problem in that particular record, we score it as high. And of course, the usual, we store it to a database, no? Um, of course, we have used various types of databases from PostgreSQL to Oracle to uh, IBM DB2 and so on and so forth. No? And next there, so while we are collecting a lot of this data, we are already performing correlation. No? We're doing the contact tracing already. No? We're kind of stitching it all together. And at some point, we are creating a baseline. No? We're profiling a person. So Evan is like this. He does this every day. Wakes up in eight swatik. Uh, wakes up in the morning. Opens his laptop and code quiz kit. For example, <laughs> So that's what you call baselining and profiling. Because we will use that later on if Evan doesn't do that normal thing. 
So, somewhat going towards user behavior analytics na tayo. No? So, this is a sample uh, syslog data. No? But anyhow, we only get uh, important information for us to do the, that particular detection no? if there's a problem. No? Uh, again, uh, medyo uh, somewhat old school uh, libraries that I use. Arg par, so... Anyhow, you will have this material, no? And uh, bash me na lang later on that I am very old already. <laughs> and you will see on how I, I perform the logger. Again, uh, there is... Uh, Sir Mike Kennedy has mentioned about performance, no? So I've been jumping from NumPy to PyTorch just for using the vectorization, no? Instead of using the regular array store it to a database, and so on and so forth. No? So if you're running to multiple threads, uh, I see NumPy and PyTorch having the same performance, no? uh, regardless of the CPU and the memory that it has. Time check, 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, again, for visualization, you could use different uh, visualization out there. No? So ito na yung normalized data na natin. No? So ngayon, uh, now we focus on the analysis, no? So what will we do when we have all of those data, very readable, no? readable in our eyes? So we perform our uh, our uh, machine learning already, no? Oops, maliyata yung dumabas, no? So I'll just move forward, no? Um, so I have my data mart, no? You read it from the database. No, we have reusable DB read as uh, uh, Python script. We have the pre-processing. No, we're of course uh, preparing those somewhat initial uh, observation for Evan, for example. Then we perform the model training. No, and after after that we do the pre-post processing where we do the model fitting. Okay, yung mga terms na yun pang machine learning ha? And we store it to a model store. So again, I have another talk about using TensorFlow versus Python, Python versus R. Uh, we could do that in another avenue. No? And from that time, from there, you know, having a good trained model from all of the existing data that's out there that's being pumped coming from that collection, I can already perform my user entity behavior analytics. So if there is a deviation in the activity of Evan, hmm, that's very suspicious already, right? Yun, we will, that is the time that we will respond rather than looking in all of these logs, no? So, 13 minutes pa ako. 13 minutes, no? <laughs> So, sample visualization, no? Uh, again, this is another uh, non-Jango, non non-Python uh, uh, non technology behind, no? We're using uh, J2EE, PHP, and all others, no? Uh, just to create a risk scoring, no? We're already doing the risk scoring and checking if there is already a, a problem uh, of that particular person, particular asset, and particular IP. All right. So, uh, I mentioned in uh, that premise of the paper that we submitted here in Fi uh, FICON, no? We are already also getting threat intelligence provided by other cybersecurity platform, di ba? So another topic, if you recall, yung common uh, uh, vulnerabilities, di ba? And exposure, that was a talk prior to to this, no, sa kabilang room. So we, we are using the same uh, stream fi, uh, stream code, no? And the uh, same DB store, no? And we store it to the data lake, no? <laughs> uh, ngayon, let's go to the dark web. Uh, alam niyo naman yung dark web, diba? Those that are not, are search searchable in Google, right? So you will need what? Uh, Tor Relay, no? You need the Tor Relay to access the dark web, no? And uh, we have a deep, uh, uh, dark web connector here, or a Tor connector. Then we have a scraper. So again, a lot of scraping methodology that you can do just to get information from IRC channels, forums, uh, even texts that are not readable in our eyes. For me, I can only read English. 
I cannot read Arabic, I cannot read Chinese. So those are very tough uh, translation in the dark web, 10 minutes. Uh, so I will just focus on the model training na lang. Model training kasi uh, we can discuss each of the code right now, but it will take us hours or half day. No, but anyhow, <laughs> uh, we'll have that another. So uh, sec, uh, PySec AI analysis. So again, I'm using very old libraries to train my model. You will notice I'm using also naive uh, base classifier to classify the text, no? the text that I have collected. No? And I am training my model for that model to learn that every time I pump information, parang baby yan. it's like a baby that you're training them. A is for apple, B is for banana, right? One, two, three, no? So that's how I trained, no? And I, I have uh, accuracy, confidence. We started around 20%. We grew it up to 70% to 80% now, no? Um, so I will not, I will not discuss all of the line per line code. Again, you can consume this later, no? Uh, just with respect of time, no? nine minutes. Yeah. So again, we are, we are also using NumPy and PyTorch to ask uh, vectorization to perform such uh, context analysis in our classification. All right? Naintindihan? Yeah. <laughs> so we go to the second use case na. No? So... We already have prepared the data. We are already detecting uh, there's a problem. So there's what we call proactive response. No? So we does, uh, in a security operation, we don't wait for a person to call us. No? We wanted to have Python to help us automate uh, a lot of our manual jobs. No? So what we do here is we wanted to proactively help our, the system that is targeted by the hacker. No? So we expand on the engage and respond. No? Very simple lang to, no? So we create tickets, we create also contextualized alerts. No? So what we did, we have somewhat uh, endpoint detection and response that is running in the endpoint again, running in cron job. <laughs> so again, we have a server counterpart of that. No? So every time that there is an anomaly, there is a threat, there is already a pinpointed problem, we can already integrate with that client or integrate with an existing antivirus, existing encryption or data loss prevention facility. And apart from that, of course, uh, as part of the operations, no, we have notification, API calls to send email, create a post in Slack, and even send SMS uh, during our time. Right? And in our future uh, studies, no, uh, we wanted to create also integration with uh, pen testing tools, identity access tools, even network facilities such as firewall and intrusion prevention system. So all in all, uh, just a reference of sending. So kaya kaya na to kasi what I just used there is just using. Uh, the request library. <laughs> Very simple lang, di ba? But I've been reusing this in all of my projects in most of the banks that you are using. Still there. <laughs> so I am monolithic by itself. This is monolithic. <laughs> Kasi it's, it, it works fine, eh, di ba? Uh, why not change it, right? So anyhow, um, even sending, uh, before I was using SOAP, now I'm sending it to REST. <laughs> REST API, no? So... Uh, I've been there uh, during the time of soap now. So anyhow, um, just to move forward, so other use cases that is part of the workflow of the pipeline of PySecure, you have credential compromise. That's one. So how can you know? Change of location, same, same time, right? Lateral movement. Why is there one ac same account login in, the same, uh, in a different device, no? So that's what, that's what you call a lateral movement. Other is data exfiltration. Why is that server sending out megabytes, gigabytes of data? Is it personal data? Is it files? Is it pictures? And so on and so forth. No? So we have all of those parameters, those signals, or what we call indicators of compromise or indicators of 
uh, activities no, or actions. <laughs> so, again, uh, there is a reference guide from NVIDIA with generic cybersecurity and large language model architecture. No? Uh, they have standardized it. No? So, we're somewhat aligning to that standard. No? You can reuse it. They even have uh, architecture for spear phishing architecture no? for detecting if there is uh, malicious content in your email. Uh, last five, last five minutes. <laughs> so again, future development. Uh, just we wanted to add uh, mapping to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Again, it's your uh, assignment to look for it. No, we wanted to map the threat towards this particular framework. Uh, other detections. No, nakita nyo dito may. As I mentioned, there are Chinese, Arabic, and other characters that we cannot understand in the dark web. We wanted to detect scam, fraud, and even soon crime. No, if there is what we call an uh, intent by just uh, physical gestures. No, so that's very tough. No, and we wanted to use. I was thinking about Django na, because that's our pipeline and roadmap to use Django to achieve such particular uh, visualization. Again, so that all of our technology is, is pure Python. No? We're not using JavaScript, React, or what so, no. And of course, GraphQL, because I use GraphQL. No? And of course, other uh, scanners out there. No? We wanted to create our own antivirus, uh, other pen testing tools for analysis. No? We wanted uh, mapangarap to, so <laughs> uh, again, we, we have a lot of existing tools in Kali Linux that you can use, no? and then so on and so forth. So, no more questions, technical? Career path tayo? All right. Uh, in four minutes, career path, no? So, these are the questions that I know that they ask me if I'm an IT person. Pa-print naman, pa-hack naman ng FB ng jowa ko, naman. They all put that to us as, 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 as IT people, but no, no. Uh, this is the right path, no? Just be a hacker and two years you'll have money. Ah, no, just kidding. <laughs> so this is me, 20 years. Indeed, this is 20 years. So, so anyhow, again, um, again, feeling hacker, you just know how to pen test. No, no, that's not hacker. But yet again, no, around... Uh, being a cybersecurity practitioner, no, you have the foundation skills, no. So I place Python, uh, Python scripting and programming down there, right? <laughs> so what we have discussed already is lags and detection, no, and we'll have and threat intelligence, no. But we'll have certain domains that we can discuss on another avenue, no. Um, okay, so and. Job opportunities, no? There are a lot of tech cyber community uh, companies out there. And within that company, no? Any company have that particular infosec group, no? They have these particular uh, roles and job opportunities, no? And myself, I am part of the operations 24 by 7. Again, how would I do it, no? Uh, no sleep, uh, just sitting in front of the computer. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, there is, other, of course, shifting, no? So, and you have other opportunities, no? We were discussing about DevOps a while back, no? We, there's what we call uh, DevSecOps, no? Uh, bug bounty, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, and cyber range. Yeah, cyber range. So, career progression, find a mentor, number one, no? A uh, trusted mentor. Uh, it was being said by Doc uh, Reina Kanina, self-paced learning, free tutorials. Enroll to webinars out there, free again. And as they have reiterated, uh, participate and collaborate with local communities. No? So, <laughs> so references in the same material, I have a whole stack of cybersecurity primer overview. I have a, a data science primer as well. And even recently, cloud computing, no? So, yung hackthenerd.ph, no? Some books, if you have time. And since we're in Python, no? Uh, my favorite book is Assembly Program. <laughs> assembly Programming, no? You know why? When you reverse a malware, it's still assembly. So, I teach still assembly up to this date. I code assembly and Python in this date. So, with that... Um, 
Of course, Python indeed have helped us in our automation. Python, uh, very spoiled na siya. Uh, Python can be used for nearly anything in cybersecurity. So maraming salamat po and magandang hapon. Thank you.